Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on our channel. Shawnee Henderson isn't the only one in her marriage who has baggage from unsuccessful relationships. Her current husband, Pastor Kean Henderson, openly revealed that despite having immediate connection with the former basketball wife, he was originally hesitant to pursue more than friendship. During the Lighthouse Church's annual Cry Out Conference in Houston, Texas, in June, he told Dear Future Wifey, podcast host Lateris R. Whitfield that he and Shawnee were both wounded by divorce. His nine-year marriage to ex-wife Felicia Henderson ended in 2019 when their divorce was completed. The former couple have one kid, a girl called Caitlin. However, Kean had an active part in the lives of Felicia's two older children. Shawnee was previously married to former Los Angeles star Shaquille O'Neal for seven years before they split in 2009. Their divorce was completed the following year with a settlement that included Shawnee keeping primary custody of their five children. The religion leader, who is also located in Houston, claimed his broken marriage distorted his view on getting a second shot at love. I didn't want to get married and stay married because I was afraid to get divorced again, he stated. I was like, I don't want to get married because I don't want to fail. If I survive this, I absolutely can't endure it again. And so it was not about her. It was about me. And I realized that my odds of surviving another marriage were smaller than surviving the prior one. Moreover, Kian acknowledged, I started to self-sabotage if I'm telling the truth. And I probably missed six to eight months of enjoyment with her because I wasn't pleased with myself. Both parties indicated that outside of their first in-person encounter, they maintained a connection that was established off of FaceTime talks, each agreeing to not visit the other while Kean's divorce was being worked through, albeit the agreement would eventually evolve. Because my divorce was so messy and elongated, I made a decision that I was going to start dating her before the divorce was final, because I wasn't going to let somebody holding up the divorce show me how I could live my life said the now viral preacher. Kean also claimed that in between them going public with their affair in 2019, the allegations of Shawnee dating a married guy started to emerge. They were genuine, but he stated that he and Felicia were entirely separated. He realized that Shawnee was his wife. When I woke up from my disastrous mindset, I was able to hear the same woman but not interpret what she was saying through my pain. I simply had to get to a position where I could hear what she was truly saying and not what I felt, adding that his new first lady never once changed who she was. The undefeated author and preacher displayed their love in the short reality series Shawnee and Kean's Destination I Do. They hitched the marriage in a tropical ceremony at the Aurora Anglila Resort and Golf Club in March 2022. In her recently published book, Shawnee claimed that this time around she is feeling the happiness of being in love for the first time. Pastor Kean Henderson is going further with his view on merging families weeks after addressing allegations about his connection with the ex-husband of his wife, Shawnee Henderson. Pastor Henderson, who is the pastor of the Lighthouse Church and Ministries in Houston, talked with his spouse on the issue he knows directly as the stepfather of five adult children Shawnee has with her ex, NBA star Shaquille O'Neal. In an October 2 Instagram clip from the Girl Ozone podcast, Henderson speaks about presenting a disturbing viewpoint on mixed families with his church. His breakdown started with him stating that he blends various fruits with seeds in a blender, which comes out with those identical tastes mashed together as one. Explaining the message, Kean stated, the point of the lesson is, is that when you bring a family together, and you blend a family. Always remember the seeds survive the blend. What the kid comes from is not going to be destroyed because you merged the family together. If they originated from trauma, that's in the mix. If kids come in from parental difficulties, that's in the mix. And sometimes parents, parent not having conquered their own parenting difficulties. And so here we are, we simply reproduce what we claim we don't want to be. Fans responded warmly to the footage, stating, this is a great scenario. Thank you for sharing. I have job to accomplish with my family, and PK always breaks it down. A third individual posted on their YouTube, This is real family life substance, needed conversation. The lesson looks to continue the topic Kian, 
touched on a few weeks earlier on Cam Newton's podcast, Funky Friday. In addition to revealing his connection with T.D. Jakes, Henderson was questioned about his relationship with Shawnee's children and his relationship with her ex-husband of nearly seven years. Their partnership ended after years of adultery on Shaq's side, which he has recently accepted blame for. As for figuring out his position in Shawnee's children's life, Kian stated, You got to know what the child needs, because my wife's children, some of them were old enough, they didn't need a father, they needed a buddy. So I ain't stroll in the door pretending to be their dad. They got that, so I basically became what they needed. He said that he has amazing connections with Shawnee's kids, and he's never had a problem, a side word, an issue, that ain't my daddy. We haven't had one of those times in the history of our relationship. Referring directly to Shock, Kian stated, He is a full-grown man, and I'm a full-grown man. He's always respected me. I've always respected him. I imagine he would say the same. Ain't nothing but love. No problems. Grown adults don't do that. He also described how he and Shaq have worked out how to both be active participants in the kids' lives without treading on one another's toes. They both attended senior night for Shaq and Shawnee's daughter, Mayara, and walked her on the court together. We both know ain't nothing to fight about because everything that happened happened before we met each other, Kian continued. Henderson and Shawnee have been married since 2022 and this is the second marriage for both of them. Before meeting the Basketball Wives executive producer, Henderson was married for nine years to Felicia Henderson. Together, they produced a daughter, Catlin, while Felicia had two other children from prior marriages. Shock has been associated to various female influencers and engaged to a few ladies following his separation with Shawnee. However, he has yet to make it down the aisle again. As a man of the cloth, Pastor Kean Henderson sees church service as an occasion to associate with others in the teachings of God, but it is the ideas and acts of his own flesh and blood that have sparked blowback time and time again. A video from a 2022 sermon has emerged on social media, raising attention of the Lighthouse Church pastor for his controversial speech, describing Haiti's decades of poverty as an intentional work of God. The segment that is being extensively recirculated starts with him remarking, I say this with all due respect, Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the world. In fact, they claim it is the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Have you ever wondered how in the world can Haiti share an island with the Dominican Republic and you can go to the DR and turn up and go 70 miles in one direction and see a place where people are still dying from E. cholera? The devout Christian said, well, I'll tell you why, because in the 1700s when the African slaves arrived to the island of Haiti and they brought a notion called Bodu, he theorized. And this is the moment that I quit loving him lol. He used to deliver a fine little word once upon a time. Kian further added, we look at Haiti and ask why, is it one of the poorest countries in the world? It is not because it is full of uneducated black people. They are as brilliant and as bright as you are but there is a spirit that has rested on the region. His statements greeted with censure two years ago. The replies present day echoed the similar emotion. A Twitter user commented, This is Shawnee Basketball Wives O'Neill's husband, the same pastor who berated a member of the choir for applauding too loudly. This is another illustration of how the pulpit is a horrible place. Kian and Shawnee Henderson, ex-wife of Shaquille O'Neal, have been married for two years. In the past year, the Houston-based faith leader has been caught in multiple divisive incidents at church, two of those being viral video of him silencing a member of the congregation and another regarding his request for members to donate $4 million to rebuild the sanctuary amid recovery from Hurricane Barrel. Another person wrote, And this is the point where I stop liking him now. He used to deliver a fine little word once upon a time. A third participant questioned, did he just blame poverty and disenfranchisement of black Haitians on voodoo-slash-African spirituality and not white supremacy? Don't ever let money define you since it is the cheapest part of you. Watch the replay of the The Spokesman on Kayan Henderson TV YouTube channel. The Open Encyclopedia of Anthropology argues that Vado transported from West Africa to Haiti 
was transformed by the slaves of the island of Haiti as a way of restoring a sense of identity and as a force of liberation. The spiritual system was villainized by Catholic Church, whose impact on the Americas remains pervasive, as some characterize Vadu as dark or black magic and being founded in demonic practices. The spiritual practice was also criminalized as the spark of the year slave insurrection that started August 22, 1791. By 1804, Haiti had successfully earned its freedom from France, which had conquered the island and enslaved its inhabitants for 107 years. Though free, the island has continued to face financial instability, which includes paying reparations to its previous enslaver political corruption, as well as terrible natural calamities. According to a 2020 New York Times piece, the government spent upwards of $560 billion over the duration of 64 years, money that otherwise might have helped the Haitians grow.